Hi, I'm Mike Marin, and in this video, we'll talk about writing scripts of code in R. Scripts are useful as they allow one to easily pick up where they left off on a project and progressively build and refine code and analyses. They also allow one to easily reproduce analyses that were run earlier. A script is a set of commands that usually includes some commenting on what each piece of code is intended to do. I've already written a bit of a script, as you can see here. Recall that the number sign, or hash, can be used to prompt R to ignore anything that immediately follows. The simplest way to get started, and the least efficient way of doing things, is to simply cut and paste snippets of code and paste them into R. Here I'll go ahead and copy this and paste it into R. A better approach is to have this script appear within RStudio. An R script should be saved with the extension .R. One can create a new script using the menu options in R. You can select File and then New, and here you'll see an option for New R Script. Or one may also open an existing R script using the menu. Here we can select Open File, and then we can open up the R script directly from here. We can now see the script of code in RStudio source editor. We can also adjust the size of the windows in RStudio to our desired size. Now we can see in here is where we're able to write new code and add to our existing script as we progress through working with our data. If we would like to submit a line of code, rather than copying this code and pasting it into the R console, we can place the cursor on the line of code we would like to have submitted, and then we can either click on this Run option to have this piece of code submitted. You'll notice that after submitting a line of code, the cursor will jump down to the next line. We can also submit pieces of code using keyboard shortcuts. The shortcut to enter this code would be Command and Enter. You'll also notice that if we submit one of our commented lines, R will ignore this. Sometimes it will be the case that we would like to submit multiple lines of code. For example, maybe to start, we would like to set our working directory and load the previous one all at once. To do so, we can highlight or select all of the pieces of code we would like to have entered and then click on run or we can use the keyboard shortcut of command and enter. It's worth noting that most of the functionality of a regular text editor can be found in RStudio script editor. For example, under the edit menu we can do a find and replace. There are also a few other useful menu options. We can also see under the code menu, there's this comment or uncomment lines. This will allow us to take an entire section of code and add comments, that is the number sign or hash sign in front of them, or take an entire section and remove the number or hash signs. Let's go ahead and load our previous workspace. You can place the cursor on this line and click run to submit this piece of code. Now's the point where we would continue along with the analysis we've been working on. Let's suppose that as a next step, we decide to add a piece of code asking for the class of the variable gender. To submit this, we can click on Run, and you'll notice, oops, we made a typo here. We can just go back and correct this in our script and then resubmit the piece of code. Once we have the code as we'd like, then we can go ahead and save this script. Now, there's one handy feature in RStudio that we have not talked about yet, and that's the use of the tab key. You can type the start of an R command, and then hit the tab key, and R will return to you a list of suggestions of what you may be looking for. For example, we want to calculate the mean. We can select this, and now we've found the command we like, or we've saved ourselves some typing time. It's worth noting that the use of the tab key will also work directly in the R console, 
and it will also work to auto-complete objects that you've created. For example, LUN, we can hit the tab key and we can see RStudio returns to us options of where you're looking for lung cap data or the measurement lung cap which is stored inside the object lung cap data. Here, let's take a look at lung capacities for person one up to five. While not completely necessary, use of the tab key can help save some time typing or help you find the name of a command if you don't quite remember what it was. Now, once you're done working for the day, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and save your script. We can do this by placing the cursor in the window where our script is located, going up to file, and then save or save as, depending on if this is a newly created script or one with an already existing name. I'll go ahead and save this. You may also wish to save your workspace image depending on how you like to work and how you like to organize your work. I'm gonna go ahead and submit this line of code to save the workspace image as well. I hope this video has helped you see the benefits of using a script in R. Thanks for watching this video and make sure to check out my other instructional videos.